Cemetery in Springfield, Missouri. The cemetery was founded in 1867. So near Springfield, <clears throat> the first major battle of the Civil War occurred August 10th, 1861. It was the first major battle west of the Mississippi. And a lot of the soldiers who died in that battle are buried here. And many of them had been interred on the battlefield in mass graves. And uh, after five acres were dedicated here to be a national cemetery, and so their bodies were moved. This monument here is to the Union dead who died at Wilson's Creek. It's a very beautiful cemetery. So I, I believe these, most of these are Wilson's Creek. They are numbered. And some have a name, and then occasionally there's one that's unknown. And then there are some newer ones. But there's no dates on these. It just says Missouri, so I have to assume. Okay, there's Illinois. So I believe these are Wilson's Creek. This gentleman was a World War I aviator. And I'm assuming died in combat. World War I aviator. Well, that was a dangerous job. No parachutes. If your plane caught on fire, you were better off jumping than burned to death. So I thought this was probably a monument. And yes, it is, but it's a monument to one person. This would be a Civil War veteran. So this is interesting. The soldiers are buried on this side. And then if you go to the other side, here are their wives. They're not beside each other, they're head to head.
This memorial is to General Nathaniel Lyon, who was killed at Wilson's Creek. I think it was placed in the 18, late 1860s or early 1870s. This looks like a pretty new memorial in memory of Union soldiers who gave their lives in battles and skirmishes in the Springfield area and those who died of wounds and disease in the city's hospitals during the Civil War. The Battle in Southwest Missouri, Northwest Arkansas. So the Battle of Wilson's Creek pitted about 5,000 Union soldiers against 12,000 Confederate. It was a Confederate victory. However, the Confederacy really did not take advantage of that victory. And it just increased the presence of Union soldiers in this area. It ultimately led to the Battle of Pea Ridge, which was a Confederate disaster. This gentleman gave his life in Korea. I feel like the Korean War is a conflict that pretty much gets forgotten. I don't think anybody would talk about it at all if, if it hadn't been for a television show like MASH or the movie MASH. This gentleman went missing in 1945 and was his body was found in 2001 and he came home November 2001 that's amazing purple heart and air medal or the flying cross I like this guy's name, Emmett Brown Patton. I'm sure some of you can probably figure out why. Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm gonna go see what this structure is. These spouses are next to each other. So I guess, I guess it's a matter of convenience where they buried couples, whether they were side by side or head to head. All of these soldiers are unknown. Well, most of them. So I would assume the unknown ones with no dates or anything were Wilson's Creek. You don't see the Spanish-American War very often. This gentleman served in it. So Elmer Ellsworth was the first soldier, Union soldier, killed in World War, or <laughs> the Civil War. This guy served in World War II, so I'm assuming his family named him for that person? <clears throat> the years are a little weird for his parents to have, he was born in 1903. So I feel like his grandparents would have been in the Civil War, not his parents. 
interesting. This structure here is a memorial to Vietnam, the Vietnam dead. So this was erected in 1979. And it was students from the university. It's now called Missouri State University. At the time, it was Southwest Missouri State University. And it was still SMSU when I went there in 2000. I think it changed in 2005. This is the inside of the memorial. I do not see that the placement of this monument has much to do with where the Vietnam men are buried because I actually haven't come across any thus far. I've seen Korea. This monument is in honor of those who died at Pearl Harbor. Dedicated in 1992 by the Missouri Ozark chapter and Pearl Harbor Survivors Association. Right at the base of this is a time capsule placed July 4th, 1976, and it will be opened in 2076. If I'm still around then, I'll be here. I probably won't be though. I'd be pushing 100. So this is the Confederate section of the cemetery, and that is a massive, I don't know if you can tell, that is a massive statue and memorial to Sterling Price and Confederate Missouri soldiers. It is way bigger than the Union. And that is not a statue made at a factory where they turned them out. I mean, that is actually a sculpture. It's very nice. All of the headstones you see uh, standing up are from Wilson's Creek. And for a long time, you could only be buried here if you were a Confederate soldier. But apparently those rules have changed and there are other people buried here from lots of other wars. So, World War II, uh, I don't really know why you would want to be buried in a Confederate cemetery. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be, I would want to be in the United States section. And Sterling Price was the Confederate general at Wilson's Creek. And he was also at Pea Ridge, one time governor of Missouri. Almost all of these are unknown. We haven't found any Confederates in our attic. Actually, my dad's side, there weren't hardly any in the Civil War at all. They all just, their ages weren't lined up. Lots of Revolutionary War. Not really any 
anybody in the Civil War. My mom's great great grandfather was a lieutenant. That's a really good portrait of Sterling Price. Government spelled wrong. Okay, United Confederate Veterans and the Daughters of the Confederacy. That's why we can think that little self-government thing on the other side, which is completely not true. And I'm sure I'll probably have to turn comments off on this because lots of people believe their propaganda. They literally had their propaganda in school books. This is the first Vietnam veteran I've seen. Only 50 years old, but so sad. They were exposed to so many poisons and stuff. They just are dying at alarming rates. And have been, obviously, for a very long time. I don't know what kind of trees these are, but these are amazing. There's another one over there, so you see it further away. It's got a really interesting trunk. Pass through the Confederate section, and this is the rest of the cemetery. Soldiers from seeing lots of World War II, and you can see they're starting to mow. And they need to, the grass is pretty long. I'm probably keeping them from doing what they need to do. I think he's starting over here because that is over there. This is a nice marker. Born in the Battle at Hartville, Missouri, January 11, 1863. Don't know much about that battle. There were so many little battles and skirmishes in Missouri. Wilson's Creek is the only major Civil War battle I know of that happened in Missouri. But there were lots and lots of skirmishes. Missouri had more battles, I believe, than Virginia, but they were, they weren't as major. Oh, this guy got a nice marker from his family. He died at Wilson's Creek. He's mortally wounded. Among those who fell mortally wounded upon the battlefield, none who serve deserve a dearer place in the memory of Missourians than Richard Hansen Waitman, Colonel commanding the 1st Brigade of the 2nd Division of this army. He fell at the head of his brigade, wounded in three places, and died just as the victorious shouts of our army began to rise upon the air. Extract from General Price, official report. Interesting. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I was trying to read it, and I... It's hard to read. The colors are not very different.
So the Confederate section here, it says, was founded in 1870. And it was private contributions. But it is now a part of the National Cemetery, and it is a part of the National Support System. This is really nice. This is right by the office, but the office is closed right now. I'd like to know more about this building, because you can tell it's pretty... It's been around a while. It may have been built specifically for the cemetery. I'd kind of like to know whether it was or if it was already here. <laughs> 